of the interesting things about living in this fucked up society of ours is that every time you honestly think and pray that you've heard everything, something else wrote in rear... Yeah, <laughs> More than once I've attacked the positions of the Canadian Family Action Coalition and its director specifically, the so-called director... Damn. In fact, the whole reason I started the show is because he endorsed an attempt to Canadian... As I've said before, Mr. McPhee's ignorance and power tripping aren't representative of all conservatives and definitely not of all Christians. However, there are enough people out there. Fuck. It's getting to the point where, as a secular, pro-gay rights, pro-choice, anti-establishment activist, I'm almost afraid to live here now. I kid you not. So, I have to really make an effort to remind them. So, damn it, it was going really well, too. Well, the election's over, and pretty much what I figured would happen did. Most Canadians who bothered to vote at all didn't support Stephen Harper, but he still got in because the opposite of that. But, I'm not blaming those people for the mess that we're in right now. <clears throat> I'm actually blaming the system for that. Uh, I really should have reversed this. The really silly part about all this is how overblown it got. When any religious group trying to block questionable content never... <clears throat> What any religious group who has ever tried to ban questionable material has ever... Uh, this brings me to a pet peeve that I've had ever since 9-11. Namely, is the accusation that someone... Uh, yeah. I support our soldiers just fine, but anyone who's ever watched the show knows that I definitely don't support the government. And if you can see my little YouTube icon, you can definitely tell I'm not that confident. Yeah. Fuck! This brings me to a pet peeve I've had ever since 9-11, namely this absolutely stupid idea that if you don't support your country's soldiers, you're unpatriotic or a traitor or something. Not only is that statement extremely defamatory, which in plain English means bullshit, it holds no water whatsoever. I support our soldiers just fine, but anyone who's watched the show for a while can tell pretty easily that I don't support the government. And if you can see the YouTube icon in the corner of the screen, you know that I'm not that confident where the country's heading right now. <sighs> That's not treason. That's caring enough about your country to realize that, there, that there's a problem and that you really need to fix it. In my mind, that's... Never mind. This brings me to a pet peeve that I've had ever since 9-11. Namely, this ridiculous idea that if you don't support your soldiers, you're somehow unpredictable. Yeah. I support our soldiers just fine, but anyone who's watched the show for a while knows I definitely don't support the government, and if you can see that uh, YouTube channel icon in the corner of your screen, it doesn't take a rocket science to figure out that I don't support this country exactly. And that just kind of killed my point, actually. Alright, that's about all I have to say about this. So to everyone out there, Merry Christmas, Happy Yule, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Fun Kwanzaa, and enjoy pretty much anything else that you're going to be celebrating. Yeah.